Hey, what are you doing your science report on? I'm doing mine on rainforests. Did you know that a lot of our oxygen comes from the rainforest? That's cool. I'm doing my report on coral reefs, because they are the rainforests of the ocean. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, turns out that over half the oxygen on the planet comes from the ocean. That's crazy. How does that even work? Right? So I just learned that there are tiny plants called algae that live inside corals. Plants take in light and carbon and give off oxygen. You know, photosynthesis. But I thought coral was an animal. Coral is an animal, but it has algae living inside of its body. Since coral polyps are so tiny, they need help getting food. What's a coral plop? <laughs> Not plop, polyp. Polyps are the tiny animals that come together and make coral reefs. The algae inside of the polyp is called zoanthelae. It helps feed the coral and gives coral all that crazy color. Zoanthelae, in my belly, makes me so colorful all the fish are jelly. Dude, you know a lot. I'm just getting started. Just like rainforests are in trouble, coral reefs are hurting too. There's too much carbon dioxide in the air. Oh yeah, I read about this. Carbon comes from burning coal and stuff. It's like pollution. Right. All of that carbon is making coral sick because it's causing the ocean to get warmer and sometimes even poisonous to the animals. If the water stays too warm for too long, then the coral polyps totally freak and kick out the zoanthelae, and the coral lose their color and become very unhealthy. That's harsh. Seriously, we have lost 50% of reefs around the world, but there is hope. I discovered that places like the Florida Aquarium in Tampa are making lots of baby corals and planting them out on the Florida reef track. That's what's up. The last time I visited the aquarium, I talked to an amazing coral scientist, and they told me that even though this seems like a big problem, every little bit we do can help. Just like how the zoanthelae helped the coral, each of us can work together to accomplish big things. That's awesome, how? I have so many ideas. My family and I already recycle, but I think I might try to buy items with less plastic packaging. Yeah, wait, how does that help? Not only does plastic end up in the ocean and hurt the animals, but making plastic means factories have to work harder and then they make more pollution. Which makes more carbon and warms up the ocean. Now you're getting it. My family could stop using plastic bags and straws. Perfect. Tell your parents to buy stuff locally to cut down the number of trucks delivering stuff. That will reduce pollution too. Dude, it's all connected. If we save energy, we can save the planet. Nailed it. All the little things we do can have a big effect on the world, if we do them together. Your report is going to be awesome. I wish I had done the coral reefs. No, rainforests are important too. Tell me what you know about them. Yeah? Okay, sweet. So, rainforests are these huge forests, and it rains there, like, all the time. Did I mention they were forests? 